Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Welcome back to the Basement Yard. Before we move forward for, with today's episode, just wanted to remind you guys that when we hit 12,000 patrons on the Patreon, we are going to do a full-blown drag show on the episode. We're going to hire a drag queen to come in here. Full makeup. Uh, so go to the Patreon. Also, Tits. Go to the... Pa- <laughs> Mate. Go to the Patreon, patreon.com slash the Yard, and subscribe every Friday. You get an exclusive episode, just another one of these episodes every single week that you can only get on Patreon, and you get every episode a week ahead. Patreon.com slash the Yard. Uh, and also, also, get it. Also, get it. Go get yourself some dog sucking season merch. It is available now listen we had to fucking do it all right the sanagato store.com bitch it's got to be dog exception eat a dog in the shirt with a pet dog. dachshund next to you a wiener dog a wiener dog singing the oscar meyer wiener theme and it'll fucking blow our minds yeah um that being said uh we legit just found out that the queen died yeah legit like five seconds ago not like Pull back the curtain. Oh, I didn't know what the hell you that's were That's the curtain. Yeah. I, I'm pulling it back. It looked like you were pulling down pants. For the pe- That's how you pull down pants, Joey? Yeah, what okay. fucking flapper pants do you wear? I'm j- pants it's, it's, are button, zip. Not everyone wears pants like that. People can just pull down pants. Bro, who's who, who the fuck are you fucking, Gumby? People with elastic band pants. Oh, they do? Yeah, I'm wrong. You're right. Like Don't leggings. even make a joke, Frankie. Leggings? No, you're right. Oh, okay, I'm saying yeah. you're right. What do you think I was going to make a joke about? I don't know. Something. The fact that you have no ass? No. You don't. You know you don't. You don't have to bring that up. But I do. I do have to bring it up, and I do have an ass. It's kind of lost its plump uh, as of late. It's been looking more like, you know, kind of like clay on a hot summer day, but I'll get back there, baby. Don't you worry about it. Could have done without the visual, but... We lost the... You know, it's so funny. I wore this shirt today for my other job that I'm forced to keep because you won't pay me. Right. And I... (laughs) And I was like, this seems a little too formal. Right. But, But the queen died. Yeah. So now I am... Oh, so you're excited that she died so that your outfit is appropriate? Is that what you're saying? I'm not... I'm not saying I'm glad I wore this. Yeah. But I think... You're saying you're ready for the occasion. People here are going to think like, wow, that's very respectful of him. You're wearing a shirt that says, yeah, nah. (laughs) You can't do that on the day the queen dies. But I didn't know that the queen was going to die. You didn't know she was going to die, but... When you heard, R.I.P., by the way, R.I.P. When you heard, you went, yeah, nah. And that's not and what And that's I, exactly what you were wearing. No, I did not say that's that. That's what you're wearing. I said, oh, my God, the queen died. The people in, in Britain really take the queen <clears throat> very serious. Yeah, I think that the, uh, London's going to be turned upside down. The throne. She was but, beloved, I think. I don't know. I, th- now, here's what I don't know. I've is, heard mixed reviews, but it's okay. But, she, but she, people die. You don't say bad things. I can almost guarantee, because granted, this will be coming out to the public a couple days, if not a week and change after. Go check out Patreon. Uh, we record it, but you, I, I imagine that like there's one like like BBC is like you know someone is like, <sighs> I I have the great displeasure of telling you, if a queen is dead. Yeah, I mean, you know that's how they speak. So I assume. But like, why? Like what? In like reality, in today's she's a queen. She's a yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't mean to come off as insensitive and downplay it, but like in today's world, like what does the throne do for that country? Because I know what they did and there might be some people that are not so pumped. I think, uh, I don't know. Chill. You're, you're, you're tiptoeing around this one. I just don't know what they do. So I don't know how to say what they, what they say or do what they have I, done. I think there's... Enough there that this will lead some. You know what's gonna happen is Twitter's gonna be half of you know like uh, may God rest your soul, Queen Elizabeth II. I think she was number two, right? Uh, that's also a question not for me, I guess. Um, do you know anything at this point? I know that she is a queen. Was. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, it's gonna be half people like God bless you, thank you so much, and the other half being like, as you don't the people that see you blessing the queen, yeah, feel the effects of the throne from Bejit Boom Boom Jump. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, bro, like, yeah, two things can be true. At how once. do you feel about how that, that someone goes down and you're like, people take it as an opportunity to say either like really good things or really bad things. It's it is really dependent because I think we know. I feel like honestly, 
<laughs> I love how I ask your opinion. You try to give it. Yeah. I'm like, nah. no, 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 no. Go ahead. <laughs> just, just go. It's okay. No, but honestly, I feel like, bro, if someone dies, I mean, what, what's the harm in saying good, st- like some good stuff? If they were like obviously horrible people, which I don't know, dude. I'm American. I know nothing. Yeah. Yet. Well, in today's world, people would be like, yes, Hitler is dead, but he was a super great artist. And it's like, bro, like one of those things significantly outweighs the other. Yeah. I mean, Hitler really did a lot of stuff. He so did. Uh, really not, yeah. Yeah. But. Here's uh, what, what I think is, you know, it really depends on the, like who like is when dead. When R. Kelly dies, you're gonna go like, I'll be, I'll be fucking straight up. I'll be like, bro, he was a piece of shit, apparently, allegedly, but he had some bangerangs. I said the same thing about Michael say, Jackson, you know, allegedly. Ig- 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 ignition remix is like, bro, ignition. Uh, uh, two, two, beep, beep. Come on, man. Like, I mean, what am I? What, am I not supposed to do this? Ignition remix comes on. People forget that he is a piece of shit. Just for the two minutes and 37 seconds. Yes, yes. Uh, when I hear uh, Step in the Name of Love, I forget about what he has done to ruin families, and I just remember that song right there. And I do think in that case, and I've said this before because I, I really don't know where I stand with the whole Michael Jackson thing. I tend to believe the victims more than I do him. However, you need to be able to separate the art from the person. Sometimes you can't, and I understand that, but I believe it was like Sarah Silverman that said that about Louis C.K., she said what? She was like, you need to be able to separate the art from the person sometimes. And and some people might not be able to do that. Okay. To each their own. But my thing that really gets me fucking frothed up is when people that have... Frothy ejaculate, Joe. Uh, yeah. When people that have no business knowing or caring about a specific individual talk about them like they've loved them and admired them for years and no one around them has ever known about it. Yeah, I mean, I think in uh, in like London or Britain or you know whatever it is, England. Uh, I I think that most of them. Anytime we've ever made jokes about like the royal wedding or whatever, people will get pissed. Really? Yeah, dude. You know you don't you haven't seen that? I tend to we try to shit not about the, the royal re- wedding ones, and people lost it. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I really didn't. I just my thing is like the people like, for instance, I made this joke, Betty White. Okay. Old Smoke. Old, old Smoke, former young smoke. Former living person. Ne- now, just dust smoke. Not yet. Not yet. She's gone. She's no, gone. She's still bones. Uh, did she get cremated? No. Was H- she? How do you know? I don't know, actually. Well, there you go. So, I had said, like, people were talking about, like... You want to get cremated or you want to rot in the ground? I kind of do want to get cremated, but I also thought about the one where you're putting a pod and there's, like, a tree that grows from you. That's weird, but That's I wouldn't be cool. shot into space. Maybe I don't know, but last fucking place I want to be is space. If you're gonna get cremated, where are you getting tossed? Uh, a couple places, a little dribby drabby in Astoria, a little you know, a little with my specifically, specifically. my kids and wife. I'm going before my wife, by the way. We know that. We can agree. You could take a little bit. I'm dying before you. There's no chance I outlive you. <laughs> okay. Um, you want to give me some? Yeah, I think it'd be nice if you had a little bit. Oh, I'd probably just put it in like... You a, have a fucking Mac Miller book in the other room. You could put a little of my ashes on that fucking... On uh, shelf. On that on shelf. shelf. Yeah. Yeah. You have ashes a... Ashes freak me out, though. Like, I have, like, Chase's ashes. Yeah. Chase is a dog, by the way. <laughs> Not like my cousin or something. But you, we have it on, like, a thing. And whenever I walk into my mom's house, I'm like... I, I want to open it. And be See like, the dust? Is there, like, a bag of dirt in there? Yeah, it's just dust, dude. I know. That's so strange. If you've me. ever looked into a vacuum, that's what it looks like. I feel like I'm cool with just like a little thing. Like I don't think I need the dust to be honest. Like I don't, I don't like. Yeah, I mean, you know, the the urns people get creative with it. People put it in vials and on like necklaces. I also think that urns are weird. I think what, it's just weird. Like it's just a weird pottery. It is. I mean, the pottery ones are cool looking sometimes, but like the one like the Undertaker and Paul Bearer had, where it's just like metal. I know, but the problem with urns is that they look like cookie jars. So like they when do. You, when I'm young, a, a kid could like run up to an urn and try to get a cookie and get a handful of grandma. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think you should probably be pretty, you know, open with the child that it's not a cookie. They won't really go near it if you're not going near it often. Sometimes children don't listen, Frank. I mean, one time I thought I was having ice cream and I had a spoonful of fucking sour cream. It ruined it for me for like legit 15 years. First of all, that would ruin it for me. However, I do like sour cream, so I'm not sure I'd be that I know, upset. But when you're expecting ice cream and you get sour cream, you, you're... So you can't look at fucking sour cream and know... I was a children. 
You were a dumb one, clearly. Yeah, I was, and it was at the table was up here. I couldn't see. I saw a little white dish. I said ice cream. That was very dumb I mean, of you. Uh, just a random dish that you just took a spoon no, out of. No, it was like we had a spread, and, I, and fucking my mom put out this little thing of like a... And what, what was it, like a taco night or something like that? Or, or some I, sort of southern, you know, uh, Latin cuisine? All these details, bro. I don't know. I know there was a little bowl of sour cream. I thought it was, I was like, oh, vanilla ice cream. I was dead wrong. Yeah, clearly. And uh, back to what I was saying about Betty White. People were coming out, and they were like, oh, my God, Betty White. Like, she's such a... And, I, and, I, and like, listen, Betty White clearly stayed in Hollywood for years and was a you know, feminist and, you know, fought it. I, and I, I give her all the honor and respect for that. But people were like, she was, you know, like an icon of comedy. And it's like, bro, kinda, you kinda, didn't... Kind of, kind of, though. No, no, no I, I'm not saying I don't agree with that, but I'm saying, like, that fucking person that's saying that, what the fuck do you know? You know what I mean? Like... And I know it's hard to say, like, well, you don't know every single person. It's like, yeah, I know. But the people that I do know that are saying shit like that, it's where it's, they're saying, like, damn, R.I.P. Betty White. And, you know, fucking always been there. You know, it's like, who the fuck? I just don't like when celebrities or people in pop culture pass away. Everyone tries to be like, this affected me personally. Check in on me. Make sure I'm okay. I, yeah, I mean, that is. And I've done it on stupid. times, too. I'm not saying that I haven't. I think, I, uh, yeah, I think that's fucking stupid, too. But I also feel like, I don't know, I don't really fucking care. I, I, I honestly care more about when someone dies and it's like, or like, I remember one time, like, Jim Carrey got, like, there was some video of him going around that was, like, popular and people were like, oh, Jim Carrey, like, I love Jim Carrey. And all of a sudden, as soon as there was, like, a bunch of love for Jim Carrey, there was a bunch of, like, this guy's a fucking horrible man because of, which shit I don't even, like, know and, like, whatever, if it's true or not. But yeah. it's like, I'm just not a fan of both of those. Like the fucking waves of like so much love, and then we're gonna crucify this person. I'm like, can we just fuck well, it all like, needs to balance out. That's what people. the fucking internet is. The internet is discourse for the sense of just hey, fucking sucks. being contrarian. There's Speaking of fucking discourse, by the way, there's a lot of discourse on the fucking internet because apparently Harry Styles is hot and fuck Louis yes, into Chris Pines' cock. Now lap. listen. I'm not. A, I've never really been a big Harry Styles fan. I'm a gigantic Harry girl. Are you, I mean, look, I like him. I have no problem with him. We talked openly about how sweet it was. He was rocking dresses on the cover of the fucking magazine. Yeah, the dude looks great in a set of woman's pants. Honestly, he looks better in, I can guarantee, everything yeah. compared to me. I wish he'd spit in my lap. Yeah, now he, that's what I said. Yeah. So people are like, oh my God. So it's surrounding the movie Don't Worry, Darling. Which there's a lot of conspiracy. Do you know what the general gist of what's going on is? Don't care. Okay. So, but at the premiere, people yeah. are like, bro, what's going on here? Mm. And there's a video. So in the video, Harry Styles. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to pull the video up. Man. In what looks to be a very tight-fitting suit. Who, he, he, who's got a who? T Harry Styles. Harry Styles got a tight fit. I mean, come on, man. He also, he's got big... What's these things? Uh, to collars. Collar? He's got big collars. Yeah, that's very like 1970s. He looks like a vampire, I he, th that's straight. I'm pretty sure he raided Travolta's wear, oh, like wardrobe for it's, that. It's just a weird like, uh, but it makes it. He makes it work, and that's the thing that pisses me off about him. Honestly, the only people that can wear those are counts and and like British people that are like no you know, I would say Harry Styles he took it over he's taking it for himself nah dude because Mick Jagger dresses like an old drunk woman and you're like god this looks kind of cool well Mick Jagger also looks like an old drunk woman and moves yeah, around like one he does he does so, Steven I mean, Tyler too Steven Tyler too but. Steven Tyler who looks more like an old drunk woman Mick Jagger or Steven Tyler um, or Elton John Elton John looks like someone's grandma I can't tell you how bad I want to be friends with Elton John yeah, and I kiss all those dudes too. Yeah, pretty I don't much know. every dude we've ever we've mentioned. Pretty right sure, now. by the way, Mick Jagger and David Bowie like gave each other like tip top. Wasn't wasn't David Bowie, like, documented? No, I I'm pretty sure he was married for a long time. Oh, I, I don't know. Um, but I have the video. I'm just you know, you didn't answer. Mick Jagger. Which one? Mick oh, Jagger. Which one looks which Mick one? Jagger or Steven Tyler? Um. Who, what are you asking me? Who, Who looks, looks more like an old drunk white woman? Oh, I mean, I'm Steven Tyler. Really? Yeah, he wears a lot of bandanas and the stuff. Scarfs. Yeah, the, the scarfs. scarfs. It's the scarfs. It is the scarf. But yeah. Mick Jagger moves like one. Mick Jagger. <laughs> That's your Mick Jagger That's impression? my Mick Jagger. Can you do one? No, I can't. Mick Jagger. <laughs> Like a three-year-old marching into a room, but that's exactly what Mick Jagger sounds like. He's like, I don't get no. 
You almost hit your phone on my dog's skull. Oh, that would have been the worst thing that happened to your dog today, right, Joe? We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have the video right now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play it for so that you can see it, but also we'll put it in the well, video. But jo- Josh, you can, you can find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so here it is. Sitting right here, this is Olivia Wilde in a nice big bird yes. inspired dress. Big, big yellow dress. And I've been into yellow. I don't know why I said that. Okay. <laughs> And then we have Chris Pine sitting right here, which I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Two things. One, he's going for a Brad Pitt thing, and he's swinging and missing. And two, he kind of looks like an old woman. Okay. He's right. also reaching this old woman. He's getting he's getting toward old woman. Still hot. Still a hot man. What, where does he rank in your Hollywood Chris's? You got Chris, Chris Pine, Chris Pratt, Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth. At the bottom, Frank. Really? Yeah. No, bottom. I'd put Pratt old at the pine. bottom. Old Pine, though. Bro, good. Old pine. No, no, no. I'd put I'd put Pratt at the bottom right now. He's just falling off a little bit for me, a little bit. I, I'm a big Parks and Rec fan, so I love them there. Eh, whatever. But Pine has been moving in the right direction for me, and that's okay. er, er, erection direction. Up. <laughs> it sounded like something's gonna fall Bro, out of the ceiling. Something's my head. going to come through the yeah. ceiling. Um, so let's play the video. This is where allegedly Harry Styles walks up to his seat, spits in the lap of Chris Pine, and then the show goes on. All right, All right so let's find out. Let's be let's be internet sleuths. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So everyone's clapping. He sits down. And boom. Okay. He stops moving. Okay, now stop smooth. Now, if us. you look away from the giant collars at Harry Styles, when he's moving, he's got one of these, like a, like a, no, like no. a. I but I don't see any spit. That's you don't see thing. spit, but it's also if you don't see this spit, you must acquit. Careful, it's also pretty grainy in terms of the footage. Like it's yeah. clearly captured on a cell phone. I will say this. Yeah, obviously. What do you think? They're fucking David Attenborough is shooting a documentary about them? Uh, I mean, it's a film festival. I don't tend to think that they're not being documented in some capacity. So the reason the reason why it looks like he's getting spit on is because when Harry like kind of bends over this way, he's clapping and he goes, <laughs> looks in his lap. Because if you're if I'm sitting there, right, everyone's watching me. It's our moment. You spit in my lap, right? Well, let's talk about maybe that. not me, but but because I would have been like. You know, I would have went like Let's, this, but I went like this. You know what I mean? Oh, for Harry Styles. You're looking at it. I don't know. I'm going to say, a lot of people are talking about this as if they didn't already ask to get spit on by Harry Styles. Let's make that ab- get abundantly clear. Uh, so, but the thing that Chris Pine does is he stops and he does like a... Yeah. Like... Let's play that. Let's let's stop it right there. Can you zoom in on the face? We're going to... We're going to... We can't zoom in. Zoom in on the face. Look at this. This is a man that just got spit on, but he's like, a lot of people watching me. I can't react. I'll beat the shit out of this little English prick. Yeah, so here's the thing. I'm not a man that promotes violence in any capacity, all you, right? But if you spit on pine... I'm a pacifist. If anyone spits on me, I don't care if it's heartthrob Harry Styles. Right. I'm putting my fist through your fucking chest. Yeah, or in your ass. Preferably the first. Just saying there's other options. <laughs> okay. How we are talking about this because remember a couple months ago, Will Smith, people forget this, smacked the dog shit out of Chris Rock on TV. I remember that. National TV in yeah. front of the world. Mm-hmm. Chris Pine here said, I'm not going to do it. He should have. I mean, he could have. I'm not. But I, I also don't. I, I'm saying no spit. I don't think he spit. Fuck you. What do you mean no spit? It's right there. No, he didn't spit. It was just bad timing in the world. Like what's going on here? No, I think there's I will spit. say he has a, like, his laugh afterwards was the biggest tell for me. Because watch this, right? He walks up, boom, Harry's right now, right? He's still, he's still clapping. He sees the crowd, he's like, thank you. Thanks. Thank I you. It. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. So he walks up, and now he's going to bend over. Ping! This is where you're talking about spit, right? There's a, there's a, I and believe. And I don't see no fucking spit. You might not be able to see it, Joey, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. So, okay. So then, so then he stops as if he was spit on. Look. Boom. Oh, did you just fucking spit on me? Chewing his gum? This is the part where it's... I. This is why I was originally team spit and not team quit. I. He stops and he gives it like a nice like like a Homelander like, ha ha, I will kill this man. Because yeah. he starts laughing and he's like, 
yes, yes, thank you for spitting on me. I'm going to kill you after the fucking show. You know what I mean? Yeah, so then what got you off of Team Spit? There was a second video that I can't find anymore, but there was a second video of after Zas Spit in question, the possible spit. It was like a bird's eye kind of view, and he, he, uh, the thing that moment happens, and they sit down, and Harry like says a hello to good, somebody, uh, good, good day, someone down the row, and then uh, you're right there, and then <laughs> Jesus, I've hit my head like three times now. It's okay, uh, and then he starts talking to Chris Pine. No. Because you don't talk to people you spit on. Yes, you do. It's a power thing. That's the whole spit. The spit is a power thing. The spit is like, you are my little fucking bitch. Okay? So, of course he's going to start talking to him because he knows in that moment, Chris Pine, keeping it together. He's not going to... He, Steve Trevor, he's not going to... He's going to... Mm, okay. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. All right. You better hope I don't catch you after this. And, but he, and he talks to him like... Mm, yeah, hey, how you doing? You know, like, that's, that's a ploy. This is all a ploy for everyone to see, all right? Now, here's the thing. Yeah. I've heard this as well. Chris Pine's people, because everyone in Hollywood has people, you know? Of course. Uh, and historically, probably a lot of them. He, his people came out and said, he, no, he didn't spit on him. Right. But that makes me believe it more. Well, no, Harry... So he's doing uh, MSG right now. So we can go ask him if you want. Monosodium glutamate? Yeah. He's doing <laughs> Oh, like he's guard. performing. <laughs> what were you? I don't even know what you. What is that? Like a fucking assault? It's, yeah, it's food. <laughs> yeah, MSG. Okay, he's, done, um, he's doing, doing MSG. He's doing Square Garden. Yeah. And at his concert, he's like, how you doing in New York? And he's like, I had to pop over to Vienna and spit on Chris Pine or something. So he's like making a lot of it too. So I don't believe any of this Fuck shit. Fuck this. No, I don't believe it. Listen, the re if, if they had not said anything. Imagine Harry Styles got on stage at MSG and was like, yeah, I spit on him. And then like said the N-word or something. Be like, what uh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, he'd be like, yo, what's going on, Harry? But he still wears women's clothes. Yeah. People, if people, there's Twitter. Twitter would be like, yes, he but did say a bad thing, but. But he's got great pants. But he's got really nice pants. You can get suits. away with a lot if you got good pants. Bro, you wear a dress on the cover of a magazine, they'll defend you. They'll defend you. That that group that loves when men wear dresses, they're yes. like, oh, that, yeah. You can literally do anything you want. Yeah, they'll be like, so what? Yeah, like we've could, all said it. You could you, know? you could kill someone and be like, mate, well, we don't know what they said. Yeah. Bro, hold on. I need to talk about this. Go ahead. Do me a favor. Completely divert off the conversation of what I was gonna say. Go. <laughs> go go go. There was a video going around. And it just reminded me of like the overly sort of uh, liberal people. Mm -hmm. There was a teacher who said, who was talking about pedophiles and was like, we shouldn't call them pedophiles. We should call them maps. Why do you think we should call them maps, Frank? I would Ma love to know your guess. M maps? Maps. M because uh, you know how to get around them. I don't, how the f you should be able to read them. What the fuck? I know, like, people have said, like, we need to take back it's the an word. Acronym. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not even going to let you guess. But it's uh, my, minor attracted persons. Nah. And Pedoph it's like, we shouldn't judge them. We shouldn't judge. Le legit, they had a quote that said, like, we shouldn't judge them because they're, like, attracted to a, a five year old. We should. I, bro. And Absolutely, I'm like, we should. What? I'm like, what? Where do we draw the line <laughs> yeah. if not there, yeah, yeah, folks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard one person that was like, oh, no, it was, it was in the, remember Borat, not Borat, Sasha Baron Cohen did that show, Who is America? Yeah. Where he was like, he was interviewing a politician and he was like, the term pedophilia comes from pedo, pediatric, which is like children, and philia, which is a Greek word for love, a sense of like brotherly love. So it's saying basically that they love children, so let's take it back. And, I, and he's like, I'm a pedophile, uh, you know, a pedophile, are you? And the, the, the politician's like, I'm not fucking doing this. <laughs> But like, yeah, what are we doing here? Yeah, like, that's a bit much for me. I think Listen, if man. anyone warrants complete and utter judgment, it is the fucking pedophiles. Come on, man. And what listen, are we doing here? You can absolutely, you can make an argument if you want to talk about how you address them as a, you know, as a matter of criminality or mental health. Fine. You want to have that conversation? Go ahead. 
That's not what you're saying. Yeah, it's like... It's That's a, not what you're saying. I don't know why we're trying to, like... Like, and also, like... Is it a, a bad word? Like, a bad... Like, this is what I don't understand, right? The word pedophile. You just described what it actually means. Mm-hmm. Children and love. Boom. The reason why it has a negative connotation is because of what the pedophiles do. Yeah. So now they're like, oh, well, it's offensive. Like, now pedophile is offensive. It doesn't matter what you change the name to. That one will eventually become, it, like, yeah. offensive also. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because of what happens. You know what would be a good idea? It's like you're we a won't need to call them anything if we just put them on an island and blow up the island. Yeah, there's a solution. Wow. French you can call them maps. Call them whatever you want. Don't need to call them anything if we just fucking kill them all. How about that? <laughs> Sorry. Too much? I will say this, right? To throw a bone. Well, you're going to throw the pedophiles a bone, Joe. Go ahead. <laughs> For once, let's give the pedophiles I think a that's the problem. Break. I think that's the problem. They've been given too many breaks. No, but uh, uh, I think what these people are going for, I think, is that clearly there's something wrong with you. Yeah. If you, if you are attracted to a fucking five-year-old. Yeah, no you shit. You know what I mean? So I think they're trying to say, like, these people can't help it, so we need to be sensitive towards that. Like, that's what I think no. they mean. But also, mm. sorry, I tend to... I and don't know you if can, I can. You can call me. I'm sure a part of Twitter will get upset at me about this. I, I don't... Mean, you just said to kill... Oh, oh. I'm joking. I don't want to kill all of them. Most of them. Which ones don't you want to kill? Now you want to keep some alive? Oh, now see that. Which ones up. do you like? Which one's your favorite pedophile? Okay, so. <laughs> you. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, 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 no. But seriously, though, like, I completely lost my train of thought because Good. you asked me what my favorite pedophile was. <laughs> I couldn't even name a pedophile. Um, oh, Woody Allen. Wasn't he a pedophile? Whoa, dude. You're, you're like, <laughs> you're opening up a whole fucking Pandora's box of shit. <laughs> Woody, if you're watching this, Woody, I'll still be in one of your movies or something. I don't know. Um, Does wow, he, dude. What am I saying? Wow, first of all, you're an actor now? Uh, fucking congrats, I guess. Your agency's working overtime. Listen, man. No, I, I, I obviously don't want to kill fucking pedophiles. However, well, I do, my, as a man that has now two young children with another on the way, yeah. the sheer thought of someone looking at my children with a sexual Forget about thought looking. Thought Forget about looking. Makes me... No, no, no. But that, I, that's what I'm saying. Is like they're saying yeah. like if they, they're clearly something sick with them. Yeah. The idea that someone would look at them in that way, I want to rip their skin from their skin. I think that if you do pedophile... The act of... If you, if you file, right? If you actually file... Can't we can't uh, do this, Joe? We can't do this. <laughs> no, but day. I think that if you actually file, the queen died today, dude. We can't. We got. <laughs> we got to be speaking with more respect in this. All right. We can't. I think if you actually file, then you should probably like be put down. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, there are some countries that that have forms of chemical castration and stuff. Yeah, but they like do that to gay people. It's fucked up. Yeah, we're not saying that. I Joey. know, but I'm saying, do they do it to pedophiles? Who knows? I feel like a lot of fucking elites are getting away with some some. Some philia. Yeah. I, I mean, listen, I am going to say, you know, it's just, it's weird that we... Uh, How were we talking about the, do, the documents on who those people were with Epstein were never released. We just know that Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell were the bad people. Who was with them, folks? Apparently there's a list and it ain't good. It's a big list. Apparently. And apparently there's some people on it. I'm not going to say anything because I do not want to have the show come under fire. Yeah. And I really enjoy us doing this. Yeah. But let me tell you. I, well, one name I saw in, in the news recently was John Legend. He was on the flight logs. What does that mean? Did he go there and he have a fucking piece of pie and go home? Jo- Josh, edit that out, please, because this show will get shut down. I'm Joey just has saying. Joey has nothing to lose. I have everything, okay? <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying. I like John Legend. Ordinary I people. Love, he gave us ordinary people, Joe. And also, what was the other one that was... The, oh, also, the remake of fucking Beauty and the Beast. That was good. I don't, I don't Blonde, remember that one. What the fuck? Tales uh, old as time? Okay. Uh, Used to Love You is an underrated banger from him. Yeah. Give me the green light. Green light? Do you I'm remember saying, that song? I'm just saying guy was on the flight logs. And a lot of people are on the flight logs. Do I think they're all out there, you know, f- you know, doing philia? No. I think some of them were doing philia, though. And if I was one of these people that was accused of feeling, filing, I'd be like, bro, I went there and I had a fucking croissant and went home. I didn't go there and see any yeah, fucking... But, you know, in the in the words of... 
Phil Brooks, a.k.a. CM Punk. The reason that you don't defend yourself is because you only sound defensive. Or maybe they're worried because there's people getting knocked off. I'm not even going to touch this one, Joey. If you wind up <laughs> fucking hanging from your you know, bed sheets in a week, just use this as video evidence for the world <laughs> that the fucking Illuminati got them. Bro, Illuminati, hit me up. I'll be, I'll like, you want to be, they don't want you. But, well, that'd be, you think the Illuminati wants you? But like, if they were like, yo, like you have to lose like a couple toes and like, we'll give you like a couple million dollars. I'd be like, fuck yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's how you get in. You got to like offer them something. You can't just give them toes, bro. Can I offer them Charlie? It's like no. my best friend's dog. No. We're no. really close. And I love that dog. No, that's not it. What if he was like on the way out? No, you have to like do something like really bad. Probably. I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm not. I'm not cool with that. Yeah, you gotta like. I don't know. Like, I mean, I'll kill someone if I have to. Yeah, it depends on who though. Yeah, they probably want you to like step on the homeless or whatever. Raise. Oh, the uh, no, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> no, Look, right. This and this is a this episode is like, we're dancing here. We are dancing. <laughs> we are definitely dancing today. <laughs> just just no, fuck out. Just no. Just no. It's all love, baby. <laughs> It's all love. And also, rest in peace to the queen. You know also, what I'm saying? I hate to tell your face. Stop it. You can't do it. I, I, that's, you're gonna t- I guarantee there's going to be a news clip like that. I know. But and you they're going to be like hunched it. over, like. Like they've been up all night. You know, man. like, like uh, this is. Uh, and listen, uh, people will react that way because a lot of people love the throne. We don't live there. I know nothing about <laughs> the it. The throne, like it's Game of Thrones. That's, well, that's what the, the Iron Throne. That's what people call it, the, the throne. Yeah. They respect it. What All do you right. think Meghan Markle's doing right now? You think she's like, she's out there doing she's some like, like Canadian you know, crip walk? She's like, probably upset because her husband's grandmother, right? I think so. Died, but also I think that she's in the other room going like. <laughs> <laughs> like quietly, you know? So Harry can't hear her. She's just like. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. She must be, right? Just like a. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like she's like, yes. Bitch, gotta come. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But um, she's like, uh, she's like, we're not disrespecting the queen. By never. The way. We wouldn't do that. We're she's disrespecting a- Meghan Markle. I'm not disrespecting her either. You did it. I did. She I might said, be. She might be the next queen. I'm we don't saying know. She might be a little like. <laughs> she's like to like her. She with Harry or William? Who? Meghan her Markle. Husband? Yeah. Harry. Harry. She's like with Harry. Like I'm so sorry. Like, uh, you know. I know. I know. She walks around and she sees like you know like someone and she's like, oh, yeah, probably, no. yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know. We don't know. There are people out there that are definitely celebrating this, not us, because we are we're compassionate not. individuals. And we're saying rest in peace, R.I.P. Uh, rest in power. And also thoughts and prayers to the entire royal family. Everyone needs some thoughts and prayers and right the, now. And the soldiers, those guys. Well, we the always, guard. we always, God bless the soldiers, Joey. Well, no, those are the troops. And the soldiers. I know, but the troops are the soldiers. I'm saying for the U.S., you say the troops. Is it like one of those frogs and toad situations? Are all troops soldiers and all soldiers troops? Yeah, they are. Wow. I Wait, no, that's different. I think all troops are soldiers, but not all soldiers are troops. Frogs and toads, baby. Probably. Yeah. Wow. That one actually applies. That one was for you, Charlie. Um, but get some ads in here. We need to take a quick, quick break. <laughs> Take a quick break. <laughs> we need to recoup. It's hot in here. The I have queen <laughs> pedophile. I've done the hey, Harry Styles. Harry Styles. All I'm going to say this. Chris Pine's <laughs> people. Chris Pine's people. Hey, Chris Pine, your people. They wouldn't confirm that Harry Styles spit on you because then the world will ridicule you for letting Harry Styles spit on you. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Get to these ads. Who, who is it today? The last thing I'm going to say Dog is. Dog sucking season shirts. Go check them out. Yeah, Patreon. The Santa Gato store. Um, oh, oh, I'm going to say this too. I, I'm, I am in no position to tell you never anything, not Mr. One. Mr. Pine. And I think that, you know, you've, you've had way better looking women and you're way better looking than I am, but to cut your hair for God's sake. So let's just, let's just, Jesus, let's just, wow. let's just cut it. Yeah. You let's know what? Cut it. Have, have hair more like Joey's. Okay. Yeah. I'm not saying me. I don't have the look. He's got the look. He's got light eyes. Honestly, I got the look and I can, if anyone could say anything about hair, it's fucking me. All right. I'm just saying. I think Chris, Mr. Pine, I think you are an incredibly talented actor. I'm not, I, 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 I talk, I've said personally, that. any movie I've seen from you, I've enjoyed. Wonder Woman 84 had some things wrong with it. However, I, I enjoyed it for the most part. 
I feel you, bro. If someone spit on me and I had to keep my composure, I'd have internal rage too. I'll and Hollywood this. gobbles people up and spits them out, baby. No. Not you, Mr. Pine. If Harry Styles actually spit on him and he didn't fuck him up, He's I, got would have, I, would, I would lose respect for What do the kids say? He is him. Absolutely. Mr. Pine is him. Nah. <laughs> It sound older. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know. I heard no, someone say it no, recently. If you get spit on, you gotta fuck them up, bro. Yes. I don't care what the, I don't but he, the fuck. He, I if I'm at the Pope's crib and we're having fucking bro, holy you know how they dinner, say before before and something Harry happens, Harry Styles walks you, in you and know spits on me. Listen to me. I'm you know how they say before something in happens in front of your eyes and your whole life gets flashed in front of your eyes. In that moment, he thought back. He saw Will Smith, and he heard Will Smith say, like, nah, yo, I should have handled that differently. Hell Chris no. Pine could have stood up and he could have nah. cocked back. And t taking this kid's face and yeah. sent it in the deep left center field where Michael K would be shouting that it's long gone, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you, he didn't do it. He's got some internal fortitude and iron will that is very respectable. He's a great actor. He showed why Fuck when he didn't that. beat the I think dog if, shit out if of If Harry fucking... Styles spits on you, you take his fucking little English head off. Listen, you go up to him. If Harry Styles comes up to me, spits on me, I'm getting up. I'm taking my hand and I'm going, this is for you, Tintin. And I'm putting my God damn knuckles straight through his fucking crusty yeah. gross teeth yeah if well, i think that he has good teeth yeah I think. but british people but if he's yo if harry Styles spits at me and it's not in, in my mouth i'm gonna be pissed yeah if you're gonna spit on me at least do it in my fucking on my cheeks <laughs> in my eyes bro make it make it make it worthwhile my lap <laughs> fuck you ruined pants god damn bro I'm short to... pants those are some capris that he was wearing. You saw them ankles on Chris. You Pine. gotta show the ankles nowadays. Well, uh, I agree. I, I kind of I wore some baggy pants the other day, and I was like, "This is a bad look for me." Yeah, you need the ankles. I also had the Skechers boots on, but I was more concerned about the pants. Well, that was your first mistake. It's actually, these boots need to go. We need to go to the. Yeah, ankles. we need to take a break. <laughs> take a fucking break from this goddamn episode. Who's our first one? Guys, who is it? <laughs> who you got? Better help. Yeah. <laughs> Better help, guys, uh, if you think that you are going through uh, a tough time, which it is a tough time for all of us, especially me and Frankie at this very moment, uh, you can get um, online counseling with BetterHelp, uh, and they make it very easy. You can start talking to a therapist in just under 48 hours. Uh, it can help you become a better person or problem solver, uh, whatever you need. Um, they are... Also very affordable, definitely more affordable than in-person therapy, which can be super expensive. So this is a fraction of that price. And on top of that, you will save even more money off your first month, 10% to be exact. Uh, if you vid visit betterhelp.com slash basement today, 10% off your first month, uh, betterhelp.com slash basement. So yeah, go get some therapy. I've been in therapy for a while now. It is amazing. Uh, keeps you sane, keeps you happy. You know, it's nice. So uh, again, betterhelp.com slash basement. Uh, and next year we have Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. Um, there, there was a rebrand, but Truebill, uh, if you don't remember, uh, this was an app where it would help you, uh, save money. You know, it would go in and tell you the things that you were, uh, like all the free trials, things that you were subscribed to that, uh, you weren't using. So you can just like save the money on sort of canceling those subscriptions. Um, but... Uh, so why the, the rebrand? They changed to Rocket Money. Uh, Truebill now is backed by Rocket Companies, which has grown from a bill management app into a full-on personal finance empowerment tool that helps over 3.4 million people with budgeting, lowering bills, canceling subscriptions, and more. Save each, and they, they're saving each of their members on average $700 a year, and with all that growth comes the next evolution in Truebill's story, a new name. Bottom line, Rocket Money is everything uh, you know I've loved about Truebill with a fresh new look. It has so now not only is it canceling subscriptions, but it is helping you with budgeting, which a lot of people I feel like go through a time in their life. I definitely have gone through this time when I was younger where I needed help budgeting and knowing like what I can spend and can't spend, uh, can and cannot spend. Um, so go check it out. Uh, start canceling your unused subscriptions and save money at RocketMoney.com/basement. That is RocketMoney.com/basement, or download the app from the app. Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Okay, uh, yeah, there we go. <sighs> anyway, we needed to take a breather. We need to take a breather and probably touch on something that is not, you know, 
Yeah, well, you can't you can't say we got to touch on something after we just dancing. talked about uh, pedophiles, we've, Joe. We've been tap dancing around. By the way, can I just say something about tap dancing? I okay. even I thought you were gonna say, can I say something about pedophiles? No, say, no, we, no, Joe. We just took a break. No, I, I'm not. We going just back took to that. a break. I do have a hot take though. I think like on tap dancing. Yeah, like I was watching X Factor the other day, and you know, there's like a bunch of different acts that they do. Okay. You know? And like there's like magic shit and fucking you know yeah, like guess people what? dancing. Name one winner from that show. You can't because none of them fucking Isn't make like it. Like the Jabberwockies a product of them. I don't know. I don't know. They they dance cool. Hell yeah. They do cool dance. Um, but so I'm watching, and then there was a tap dancer who was doing a tap dance routine, and apparently he was crushing it. Like people were loving it. He didn't get the X's, and I think like they were like, yeah, cool, you got a yes or whatever the fuck. And I'm sitting there like, dude, tap dancing fucking sucks. Nah, dude, I can't fuck with that. Those those shoes sound awesome. Bro, I'm looking at the tap dancing, and I'm like, this is probably the worst form of dancing. Well, it's just because it was done long ago that people still do it. Like, if someone tried to introduce tap dancing now, people would be like, what the fuck? I think it's just, it's just like... It's just this. And it's, it, you know, it, click and clack it. And also, like, I, I know I'm probably wrong. But I'm looking at this shit and I'm going like, Yo, how hard is this? It looks pretty hard. I can't even fuck around. To flick my toes like a fucking... Bro, try to do it. To flick my toe? Yeah. It's not just your toe. It's... Yeah. I know. It would take some time to learn. And but... they, they like like roll it too. They're like... Bow, 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 bow. Like... Yeah. They... I gotta say... It reminds me like... Tap dancing back then is probably like what like shuffle dancing is now. People are just like... All right. Uh... I don't know, man. All right. But I think that shuffle, like the fucking like dance festival shuffling you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks way cooler than tap dancing. Do you? Tap dancing, I'm When like, you look up and see it's being done by someone in a fucking headband and spiked up gelled hair, Joe? The outfits are different. I'm saying the dance looks cooler than fucking tap dancing. I see someone tap dancing. I'm like, are you a leprechaun? Like, what are we... What is no, it? that's the jig. Don't the don't same. be like Dude, that. Jig. No, Joey. It looks like tap dancing without the, the jig, sound. Bro, the jig is majestic as shit. They're fucking straight as shit. They don't move from the waist up. And their legs are like sharp and pointy. They're like... Foom, ba, ban, si, ka, da, goots, ba, da, get, ba, like, it is, it is way cooler than shuffle dancing and uh, tap dancing. I'm... I agree. I think that tap dancing is the worst. Form no, but of the jig is cool as shit. Is what I'm saying. I'm not saying the jig isn't cool. I'm just when saying. When people think of a jig, though, they think of you know like honky tonk, like like. I don't think people think of that's that. That's exactly what they when think, I think of. Irish jig. I think that like you kick your leg out and you swing it this way and you bring it back and it's a redhead woman and everyone's drinking beer and her tits are kind of out. I don't think they drink beer in Ireland as much. It's it's more whiskey, Irish whiskey. You don't think they drink beer in Ireland? I think they do, but if they were to like have like a per capita drink, it's Irish whiskey. You familiar with the term Irish pub? Yes, and you know what they drink within that pub? Guinness. It beer. is a beer. It is a beer. Ah. But they, I would say, outside of that, yeah, of course. I know they have Irish beers, Joey. I'm not being ignorant and saying that they don't exist. But I'm saying, if you were to say, what do the Irish drink more, whiskey or beer? I would argue it might be whiskey. Because the beer gets you your darn hair. No, so I couldn't get a point. I, I can't do it. Now. I don't know how to do <laughs> what it. What did Ant say that time? Get off me arm. <laughs> what? He spoke Irish? We did. Spoke <laughs> Yeah, what's wrong? We did a, a video for Santa Gato Studios. You can go check out. Oh, yeah. Patreon. Patreon.com slash big me arm. Uh, and he, we all tried to do an Irish accent. And he did one. And he was like, get off me arm. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, honestly. That's good. Uh, however, um, I would say that they do more whiskey drinking yeah. than beer drinking. Well, forget it, bro. Well, I've, all you, I'm saying is tap dancing is, is whack. I took a beer class in college, which was the drunkest credits I've ever gotten. Second, actually, to the mixology class I also took. You and ever take tap dancing? You know, in high school, for gym. Go ahead. I had to do square dancing. Yeah, we also had to fucking dance around a pole like weirdos in midsummer during fucking elementary <laughs> school, Joey. Yo, yeah, you got selected for that shit. I was so upset, dude. I, it was like you, Dennis, Jamie, Jane, Gillian, Gillian oh fucking, and, and like all like the other like fucking stud athletes and shit. And I was sitting back there and I was making up dances with a fucking plastic tube. So hold on, bro. I have to, I'm gonna explain to to the people in a second, but I tried to explain this to Danny, and I didn't realize how weird it was yeah. until I was seeing his 
reaction. <laughs> and he's going, what the fuck are you <laughs> talking about? Because we did this thing called the Maypole yeah. when we were younger. And it was like, in, it was the fifth graders did it. And it's a, it's a, like a dance or like a traditional thing that we, we would have like the dance festival. It was a day like near the end of the year where all the parents would show up and we'd be in the schoolyard and we would all do dances. And like we, every class would do a dance. And we practiced this dance for fucking weeks, yeah. if not months. And that was our gym. Gym. It, our gym class was doing these so, dances. Bro, so they were like, yo, no playing. We're learning a dance, dance, which was choreographed by a 58-year-old Greek gym teacher in fucking New York City public schools. With a whistle around his neck. Yes, and his last name was Pambukas. We're dropping that, huh? I don't give a fuck. He's First prob- name, probably Dimitri. Bro, he's gone, dude. No, he's alive. You think so? Yeah, I know so. Dan- oh, you know he's alive. Yeah. He got kids? Grandkids? God knows. I hope they listen. Well, listen. Uh... But the, the main thing, like the last thing, was this thing called the maypole, and it's just a wooden pole. And on top of it has like this like fake bed of flowers. Yes. And it's, it's like, like made. It's like the fucking flower things that they make out of paper. Right. And then like there's these ribbons that hang down, like a bunch of ribbons. And then like By they, the way, a like twelve foot pole. Yeah. Big, tall pole. Big pole, dude. And then you would uh there were hand selected people. For the ritual. The most politically charged selected people, too. It was always, like, the fucking teacher's favorite people that had half a fucking coordination. Some of them. So, you have... And then, like, the girls face one way and the guys face the other way. And then you skip and you pull the, the thing up like this, like, outside of, like, the girl's shoulder. And the next girl that's coming... I go inside. So you just go inside and outside, and it braids the ribbon down this big-ass pole. Yeah, bro. It was like doing fucking lanyard back in the day. Yeah. And then you go... The music is in reverse now. It, and, and then it's you like, go the other way. And it's like creepy fucking yeah. like old-timey circus music. Like, yeah. and it's like, what? And then you unbraid it, and then that's it. And let me make this abundantly and it was like clear. The highest on- let me make this abundantly clear, Okay. It was like a fucking cult because everyone would watch and like, this better fucking come out good. Yeah. And like, there was so much pressure on these fucking 10 year olds who are trying to, like, they're like running in fucking no man's land in between people. And you see there's one little kink in the pole yeah. and people were upset. Yeah. It, people were upset. It was fucking weird. Yeah, it was weird. And I didn't realize how weird it was because it was always like the coolest thing in the world. It's like, oh, you need to do the Maypole. Like if you get chosen to do the Maypole, it's like blah, blah, blah. And then like, I, never, I hadn't thought about it for so long. And then I remember trying to describe it to Danny. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, it's weird. Like, it was so weird. The I wonder if anyone else did that. I, I know. I, there's got to be. There's got to be. Someone has there to has be a maypole. To be. There's no way that fucking our elementary school thought of this wild idea. Yeah. It's and, probably us and the Latter-day Saints or whatever. Yeah, exactly. If, or even worse, like the fucking Westboro Baptist Church do it. And they're yeah, like, yikes. yeah. Uh, no, they're... It, the idea of the dance festival by itself yeah. is very weird. Yeah. Because you're teaching kids, bro, kids, yeah, from fucking kindergarten to fifth grade to do a dance for their parents. And then they're losing out on like fun gym. And then you make them perform it. Talk about performance anxiety. They're fucking six year olds that are crying themselves to sleep every night because they can't get down a fucking, you know, like turn, turn, yes, no. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it's. They're not like well choreographed. Let's make that abundantly clear. No, yeah, no. Frankie, yeah, uh, you what? I, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, uh, no, 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 yeah. It uh, it, it was weird. It and was you strange. were you were selected. I was not, and I remember it hurting that I wasn't. I remember being selected, and I got to because the girls and the guys like walked out side by side, and you had to hold the girl's hand, which was not cool back then. But I had a big crush on Gillian. Yeah, and, Gillian and was, she lined up with me Like they lined us up together You often talk about her as the one that got away Yeah all the time <laughs> uh, <laughs> But we uh, we Like I remember the first day we went Because also the only downside to this Is that we had to come to school earlier Because we would only practice the maypole Like in our gym class would be like the Because di- we still had to do the dance With our whole class 
but we the Maypole practice was at like fucking seven a.m. Yeah, bro. It was. So we had to show up. It early. was a little weird and culty. I gotta say, like looking back on it now. I was hyped though because I got to hold Gillian's hand. I was like, damn. Like we the. And then we would go play SpongeBob Uno at her fucking hippie parents' place. It was so wild. Yeah, I was like, yo, these people are definitely high. Yeah, they were very high and also. Kind of weird, dude. They were like traveling and like living out of a suitcase for like three years. Fire, I guess, man. But they also, uh, I remember one time being at their house and her mom was like, You don't have to be home. And I was like, What do you mean? It was like eight o'clock. She's like, You don't have to be home. Like, you don't have like a curfew or something. I was like, Yeah, but like, it's like at 11. Like, she could, she was like, What the fuck? 11, dude. That's a little old for that age. It must have been like 9 30 or something. I don't know, but I, I remember like, my curfew was 11 for so long. So like, but I feel like it like started early. Oh, I mean, maybe I remember mine was like a nine 30 until like, I was like 15 and then it became like 11 and then it became like, just tell me you're alive. Yeah. 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 You know? And now it's like, talk to me once a week. Yeah. <laughs> my dad used to like, if I, if I forget to check in or something, my dad would just like find me and try to hit me with his car. He's so pissed. <laughs> Uh, also, we have more ads. Oh, okay. We have, <laughs> we have Shopify. Shopify gives entrepreneurs the resources that were once reserved for big businesses for everyone in the world, folks. Shopify is what you need to be using if you're going to be starting a small business or a big business. It doesn't matter. They will help you from your start to scaling a big business. They can handle it. Shopify is what everyone I know who has an e-commerce business, they use that. Uh, it's amazing. They have a lot of tools that you can use to help you retarget audiences and they keep track of all your sales. It's all very organized. There's charts. It's beautiful. Uh, so you're going to want to use Shopify if you're going to be uh, doing this and uh, you can get a free 14 day trial, which will be super useful for you. So it's free. Come on. Shopify.com slash basement, uh, all lowercase for a free 14 day trial and get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. So don't just take my word for it. Go on, try it for yourself. You have two weeks to try it for free, shopify.com slash basement. Uh, so yeah, go try it out. Go check it out. See what it's all about. I guarantee you that you will uh, end up using Shopify because it is amazing. Uh, and lastly here, we have FitBod. Uh, FitBod uh, has a smart, is a smart workout app that creates custom dynamic exercise programs based on your goals, experience, and equipment. I've said this once and I'll say it again. You, if you want to get into good shape, it's very difficult to do that with just a random workout program that you find on the internet because it's not like custom for you. Your goals, what type of body type you have and what kind of activity level and, and, your, and like, you know, what you wanna do also. So with uh, FitBod, they make it easy um, for you to get a custom workout plan that actually helps you. And uh, it's less than having a personal trainer, which is like, for some reason, the most expensive thing in the world. Uh, it is, it's wild. So you can get this, uh, a, per, a full year of personalized workouts with FitBod, uh, fit exercise into your schedule. And even if you don't have equipment, there's body weight stuff. Um, so for any experience, any, uh, sort of equipment, you know, they can help you. Uh, and right now you can get 25% off your subscription or try out the app for free when you sign up at fitbod.me slash basement. That is 25% off your subscription or try it for free at fitbod.me slash basement okay when is this episode this over? has because been I, a I, I, wild really ride gotta get well out you know what well i'll extend it a little bit patreon guys patreon.com slash the basement yard we tell you about patreon all the time we tell you about it quite frequently but guess what we want to continue to tell you about it all right well why because patreon supports us directly it's a way to help us live comfortably uh healthily and happily all right, patreon.com slash basement yard. You sign up for that first tier. You get these weekly episodes a week in advance. You get in on us probably being canceled for this episode a week before anybody else. It's all over. And then, uh, then that next tier, well, that's where you get the goodies. You get exclusive content, exclusive episodes that the normal public does not see that are a little more all over the place. If you could believe it, somehow they are more all over the place in these weekly episodes. <laughs> uh, so we just announced that we've been talking about it. 12,000 patrons. We are going to be doing... Um, some uh, content, people hate that word for some reason, on our Patreon for you guys where we're hiring a, a drag artist to come in, put us in full drag, doing the whole shebang. We're going to document the process and then we're going to do an episode in it. So, and that's only going to be available for those patrons. So patreon.com slash the basement yard. You can watch all the old episodes up until now. It's a good binge, good gift to give. Go check it out.
Good getting stuff. better, Joey. Yeah. I am getting better. Yeah. You know um, what's hysterical? What? So people that I, I assume people know this by now, but we 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 during the week and like you know leading up to the episode, we talk about what we're like topics we're going to come up with for the episodes. Mm-hmm. You know things we're going to discuss. You know things that happen to us personally or in you know in the world. It has been yeah. wild how many things we have not <laughs> spoken about over the last several weeks. I can't, yeah, we had nothing. Oh no, Harry Styles. We knew we were gonna talk about that. We talk about that. We had one about an airplane. We had one about. I just pulled out that. Article. I remember there was one that I had suggested a couple weeks ago about monkeys using sex toys. Wait, what? Yeah, monkeys. They found out how to fucking use rocks to like jerk themselves off and shit like that. With rocks, I don't think that's safe. They were doing it. But it's just kind Dude, of... Dude, speaking of animal dicks, I saw an elephant dick the other day. Bro. Like in like on a human or... Bro, no, an elephant. What does it look like? Another leg. Is it like... Is it big? It's touching the ground. I don't want to mess up my cookie cache on my phone, so can you look it up and tell me what it looks like? <laughs> I don't even know what that is, by the way. I, they, like if I start looking up animal dicks, I'm gonna get like. I mean, I'm not gonna Google elephant <laughs> cock for you. You know, I'm gonna like start getting like notifications like you're near a zoo. Do you want to stop in? And yeah, yeah. Like yo, chill. Bro. Instagram's gonna be like, are you sure you don't want to buy a plush elephant from yeah, Amazon? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. I watched one Logan Paul video once, and all of a sudden they were like, do you want to buy a pokeball? I'm like, I'm fucking bro, 30 I, years old. No. I didn't even look anything up on my phone. One day I said something along the lines of like, like, oh, pop tarts. And I got like a thing where it was like, do you want to follow Pop-Tarts? And it was like, this Damn. is getting weird, man. Dude, what's your favorite Pop-Tart? Obviously, it's the strawberry one. But there's That's such a basic fucking bitch answer. All right, you want a real answer, Joey? Yes. The 2002 tie-in merch Pop-Tarts that came out for the Spider-Man movie. Look it up. Those are my favorite Pop-Tarts, Joe. The Wild Berry. Can you be a person? I am a anything. fucking person. What, if you are, wanna, what are you saying to me? If you, I, you just described like a like a comic book or something. Broy, bro, bro, and Joey in one. Broy, go look it up and tell me you don't remember these being absolute fucking fire or the Pokemon ones that they did years ago. Can you just pick a normal flavor? No, those are my favorite. I gave you a flavor and you said that's basic. I gave you another. You said you didn't like it. Let me guess, Joey. You're gonna come out and say the chocolate unfrosted. You fucking dweeb. Oh, I'm not. What am I, an idiot? What are you gonna say then? S'mores. S'mores are good. They are good. Hot fudge something is good, but that's not my favorite. No, dude. Give dude, me the a- cinnamon ones are good. Give me a classic strawberry. Why do you have to reinvent the fucking wheel with all these flavors? I didn't invent that, that's the They company. got popular because of the strawberry. You think though. I made the flavor? I know you reinvent? didn't make the flavor, Joey. It's but why are you cinnamon, going to the store bitch. and you're going, oh, let me get oh, let me get the green apple one? You fucking you are you such a hey, little one second, one second. Before you move forward, you just got mad at me for saying I like the cinnamon pop tart when you just rattled off I like a 1977 blue Cadillac fucking you knew everything no 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 Joey these were a very popular item Charlie sit the fuck down all right these were a very 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 popular tie-in pop tart if you look it up look up 2002 spider-man movie tie-in pop tart and you're gonna look at that tie-in tie-in like it's like the the, the licensed one yeah and you're gonna tell me that these were weren't the fucking best they were the best pop tart the best joey it had the webbing on top he can't he can't deny it look at his face no i'm trying to find it there was an ego one that has that shit on. oh i only see the box i don't actually see the pop oh i see it yeah you see it now what's in it what what flavor is this wild berry i believe take it down <laughs> wild <Wildberry, laughs> i believe <laughs> Yeah, it's got like the the jizzy um, web on it. Wait, can I say something? The, I'm sorry for changing the topic, but I need to say this because it, it reminded me. Look, bring them the, back. I'm, I'm reminded. Pop tart. They have the jizzy like web on it, dude. If you're gonna bring up what I think you're around our age, what you say? If you're gonna bring up what I think you're gonna bring up, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> like in a good way or a bad way? I, I don't know. Let's see what you say. If you're around our age, then you remember being home and watching TV, and then a commercial pops up. It looked so good in the commercial. And the commercial was for Toaster Strudel. Toaster Strudel. It looked so good. And he had the Pillsbury like, Doughboy. <laughs> and then they have like this fucking very cummy like uh, was, icing. And they're like, and I've never had a toast. Uh, I've never had a strudel. Oh. I've never had a. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead. Oh. 
I've never had a toaster or strudel. I've never had a strudel to a, any sort of strudel, you know? Mm. But that looked so good. It did, didn't it? Did you ever have one? Yeah. How good was it? No. Not good? No. It was the perf. It was the prime example of like piss poor execution. Cause I'm expecting to put this thing in the toaster and it comes out and it's got a flaky crust on the outside yeah. and it's got the jelly goodness on the inside. Yeah. All right, I was Wait, a big jelly. In I was a, It's you know like a jam. I was a big jelly and jam boy growing up. I, I used to eat. Don't be funny, but what is the difference between? I jelly and uh, legitimately no clue. Okay. Don't care. I used to eat just jelly sandwiches because I loved it, and I remember taking that thing out of the toaster. Mm. I had an oven mitt on, so... I understand. You didn't burn your hands. I took it out, and this thing looked like it got sat on oh, no. by Yaya. No. Yeah. And I remember I went to go put the icing on it, and the icing, because it comes frozen, the icing was frozen. No. So it didn't go on cool. You gotta warm it up. Babe. So I had to like spread it with a with a butter no, knife. You gotta put it in the mic. I did. Oh, you nuked it and, and it still and it still came out like shit. And I bit into this thing. Center, ice cold. I hate that. Ice cold. Outside was steaming hot, probably. Very, and it was soft like baby shit. Okay, <laughs> it was the, the biggest affront. You, they set it up. They had a layup, they had bro. A good commercial man. They had a layup. They had the perfect commercial. And they fucked it up. They fucked it, yeah. But there's hope for us. Why? Guess what is back? And I saw in the store. Guess. Just take one guess. <laughs> is it sort of in the same like realm? Kinda. But I don't know. What not left. not necessarily a breakfast thing, but you can. It was something that left. It left and came back. And is back. Uh, what is it? Just tell me. I don't know. Tricks yogurt. Ooh. <sighs> Which, by the way, just sugar. Yeah, it's not yogurt. There's no yogurt. I used to think of There's no live cultures. Probably yeah. no dairy. Yeah. But there is pink. It's just made up of blended and blue. Huh? And and there's pink and blue. Yeah. And oh my god, I need it. And they're good. I used to fuck up Danimals too. We got some Danimals for Danimals miles is for school. Too, right? Actually, believe it or not, Danimals of like the group is like the one with the least sugar. There's like they have the organic ones and shit like that. Yeah, but they're all probably just like. Oh yeah, six grams of sugar for a shot of yogurt. Yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, but what were some other popular ones back then? Like, like gogurt. Gogurt's still around. By the way, you freeze your gogurt. I don't want to hear from you. Who the fuck's freezing gogurt? People do it. They use it as an Ooh. ice pop. People do it. I'm just use it as an ice. I mean, I, I'm listen, telling you. I'm, I'm telling not, you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They do it. No, frozen milk. Help. Yo, actually, if you put milk in a in a in a fridge that's too cold, like someone fucked with the thermostat or whatever, and there's like, I'm not saying that there's ice in it. Scrunchies. There's, there's like there's some crunchies. scrunchy ice. There's Sometimes you get slush. Scrunchy ice. It's slush, but not even slush because slush is too much. Just on the top and around the side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you pour it in. It's like, oh, there's some shards in here. It's sharp though, dude. I kind of like that. When you eat that with like, say, like a very sharp cereal, like a fucking, uh, you know, uh, Captain Crunch. Yeah, you're playing with fire. You're, you're gonna walk out of there with your mouth looking but like I, Freddy Krueger's asshole. But I do like that. I and also like. This is gross, but I, I when we were younger, we would go to this house upstate, and they would ser there would be like a breakfast buffet, so it would be like a bunch of eggs, and it was like a bed and breakfast kind of place, um, and the milk was in a carafe and just had ice cubes in it. I was like, that's not whoa, 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 that's yeah, skim milk. That's how you make skim milk. Is it? I, yo, I don't think I've ever had skim milk in my life. I've had it in my life, and I. What kind, what's your favorite milk? Whole milk. I'm an really? American boy, born and bred. I think I'm a one percent guy. No, no, you know, whole milk is a. Uh, I like it because it's got the. Th it, I like the taste of milk. These people that are like, bro, almond milk. It's the same. It tastes exactly. Oh, milk is a. Bro, it's not milk. <laughs> Come on. I think that almond milk tastes better, honestly, than regular milk. Like I really like. I think that milk tastes good too. So you you like almond juice, but it doesn't taste like almonds. Yeah, but it's not milk. I mean, whatever it is. I mean, I'm saying, it, I think whatever that is. That's like if I ate a better. shoe, but I called it a cheeseburger and said, I like this cheeseburger better than that one. They call it milk, bro. I'm calling it milk. What do you want me to do? I don't make the fucking rules. You don't, but you, you should be fucking well-versed enough in order. We're, this is a very hostile room right now. No, we're yelling. We are getting we're a yelling little. About milk. We're getting a little. I'm, I will defend my we fucking. We more calm can you do me about Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Do me a favor. Can you look up the Pokemon Pop-Tarts? Because those were fucking bangerangs too. 
All right. But Pokemon Pop Pop. Pokemon Pop Pop. Pop. Oh yeah. Pokemon. Oh yeah. Pop Tarts. Was there m- multiple? Ooh. Oh, they were the Pikachu. These I've had. Where yeah. it has the little things on them. You remember that? And they're multicolored. Oh, you yeah. definitely have a box of this, don't you? Oh, shit. That, oh, no. That's Eggos. I, I will know. not confirm nor deny that I have a bid in for a box. I mean, you can't eat it. Are you going to eat it? If I buy a box and I bring it here. I'm not eating a fucking thousand-year-old Pop-Tart. Are you crazy? Bro, they're not made of real food. It's fucking nuclear waste. Yeah, we can eat it. It'll be good forever. <laughs> Do they, they don't have like a... I'm sure they have an expiration date, but that's just for the fucking, you know, the moms and pops in the grocery store. They don't expire. <laughs> that's not how that works I'm at all. I'm pretty sure. Hey, best... Yo, and also my dad, dude, that's a crazy man when it comes to expiration dates. My dad, too. Yo, what is with He'll that? be like, yo, pass the ranch. And I'm like, dad, this expired 14 years ago. And he's like, huh? Yeah, it just smells like ranch. Yeah, it and smells like, good to me. Person, dude. Yeah, and my dad now wonders why he has fucking gastrointestinal issues. Yeah, it's like... Undiagnosed. You ate I see you, dad. From 10 years ago. That's yeah, why. exactly. Smell good. It, oh, my favorite. All goes to the same place. Yeah, it's like, yeah, no. But the, but the road that it takes there is fucking miserable. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, my dad, my sister is like also the complete opposite. If I see an expiration date, I stick to it. If it's an expiration, my sister still does that to this day to my mom and she doesn't live in the house. She'll show up. She'll like open something and be like, oh, this expires tomorrow and just toss it. Yeah, that's what I get furious. That's what I do. I do that too. I do that also. Like if it's close to the date, I'm like, if I see like a piece of bread and there's like a little bit of mold on one slice, the whole loaf goes. Oh, fuck, dude. You know me. I throw out silverware. <laughs> if I see mold on anything, I might throw out everything in the pantry. Because that's that a disease. It. That's a disease. That's not like a, something that you... That's, that's not a mole you can cut off. It gets the whole kit and caboodle. You, yeah, it's you, over. It's lost. It's a wrap. You call it a day. Yeah, if I see mold, I, I'm fucking out. Or I bring it and I give, I give the moldy bread to the geese down the street. They can handle it. Can they, though? <laughs> They're geese. No one cares if they die. No one's saying like, you know how they say like, save the bees. No one's saying like, yo, protect the geese. Yeah, they don't need protecting. And they're also not birds. They're just geese. Yeah, they're they're, birds. They're their own thing. They're their own thing. Yeah. Thank God we We gotta go. We gotta get out of here, Joey. Out of here, dude. I'm like, uh, (laughs) make sure you go check out the (laughs) show on Patreon, Patreon.com/slash The Basement Yard. We get to twelve thousand. We're doing a full episode in drag, which will be available to our patrons. So go check it out. Uh, at patreon.com slash the basement yard. And you could find me, F Alvarez8085, on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Instagram. And guess what? I gave in, son of a bitch. I gave in and I got a TikTok. So go check it out there, the Frank Alvarez on there. Yep. And uh, that is all. Uh, actually, go follow the show on, on base, uh, the basement yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. Yo, I thought you farted. <laughs>